just walking into Dog Ethley in Wales. A little village. And that up there is Cata Idris, which we'll be climbing tomorrow, which is exciting. It's a little Welsh town in the National Park. It's very pretty. Looking forward to climbing that mountain. 893 meters. All right, we're all set up at our campsite here. We're just on the edge of town. Beautiful scenery all around. Pretty good camp spot, I think. So we're here for three nights. Pretty cool. Thank you, Wales. Good morning. Uh, we're just getting up, cooking some food, as you just saw, having a cup of coffee. Very uh, damp night. Uh, lots of condensation on the tent, so we've been drying that up this morning and dealing with that. The grass is a little wet, so uh, dealing with that. And uh, the sun is just poking up over the mountain behind me, or well, the hill behind me, it's not a mountain. And uh, we're uh, getting ready to uh, crack on our day, today's adventure. Uh, if you don't know already, we're going up Cada Ridderus. Yeah, I can't say it. I've tried so many times, I just can't say it. Anyway, we're going up Cada Ridderus or Ricarus, or whatever it is today, uh, 893 meters. Uh, I swim on swimming. I plan on swimming in the tarn, so get ready for some skin. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing that today. Uh, slept well, decent, decent uh, night, I guess. It was quite cold, but we did sleep well, and uh, we're ready to get cracking on. So uh, I'll show you guys the trail going up the mountain. Stay tuned. Well, this is uh, one of my bits of breakfast this morning. A good old Welsh cake. If you don't know what these are, you need to find out. Because these are, in, in my book, these are quite yummy. Put butter on them. Peanut butter, if you're me. I don't have any peanut butter, so I'm just going to go straight to the Welsh cake. All right, guys, we're just getting started. It's 9 o'clock. Uh, that's the road on the way up to uh, to the starting point of the parking stop. And we're, uh, we're heading up there. That's the beginning, basically our first uphill. It's beautiful already. I'll show you guys. It's a perfect day to go bag us a, a mountain. We're heading up there. There's already some people dotted here and there, up the top there. So we'll uh, catch up with them, I'm sure. Let's get going. All right, we just passed a few bunch of people sitting on the side of the mountain. So we're all like, that's a good place to take a break. And uh, there's quite a few, so we figured I'd ask one of the fellas what they were sitting there for. And apparently this, uh, this valley here is a low fly military. So uh, they're all waiting to catch a, catch a shot of the uh, planes flying by, but they're not 100% sure if they're gonna happen today. So it's kind of a, kind of just wait and see, but uh, we'll keep our ears out, see if we can hear anything. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of them too. So uh, that's what we're climbing up to start. And we got a little bit more to go as the day continues. Hi. Hi. So 
that's where the uh, fence line ends, right there. Bill didn't want to put the extra post up at the end. He decided that was too much. Or in this country, that'll do. And then uh, if you look down there, you can see the fence coming up the crack uh, with the screen there. You can't see it on the other side because it's a big, big boulder there or rock formation. So it's pretty cool though to see the fence dead end right there. Or not dead end, but come to a stop and then pick back up again because of the crag. Let's go. Tiffany, I found our Christmas tree this year. I think we should dig it up and take it home. I don't have anything to leave on it, but I can take it with me. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hey, we could use this for our Christmas photo. <laughs> I think we should. That way. Yeah. It's only a four footer, but hey. Timber, let's cut it down. <laughs> the sheep aren't impressed. Oh, the sheep aren't impressed, no. No, I did hear them earlier and I thought it was a person yelling, but it was a sheep going. So the clouds are coming in, but not bad. We've climbed about 500 meters now. So we started at about 200 meters and we're just about to reach 700 meters. So I've still got a little ways to go, but we're getting there. Tiffany's posing for the camera. And our destination has come into view. It's a little bit under cloud right now. So we need to cross over the fence here at some point. And then we got a little bit of a, a little bit of flat walk and then up on top of Kata, which is looking kind of awesome right now I must admit these are the things that get me excited that and seeing a Christmas tree so I think I see the path going up the side up right there right here going up that valley right there I think that's our path I see it yes I see some sheep I don't see any humans it's just me and Tiffany up here I think right now so yeah wow very cool. I've got lunch. Oh, oh, that's right. You have the sandwiches. I have the crisps. Anyway, let's get going. You, are, you have the candle mint cake. Uh, all right. I don't like candle mint cake, so. Good steep climb that was. Tiffany's coming up behind me. That's the ridge we walked across, basically right in front of you there. And uh, the tarn's just down that little valley down there. And uh, yeah, still going up. Getting there, you should be able to see the top soon. But yeah, it's beautiful. And Wales is delivering. Cloud set in a little bit. Yeah, not much to see really, unfortunately, because the clouds come through. But you can see it rising up through the over top of us now. It's quite cool. You kind of just make out Cataritharis there, Cataritharis. Looks like it might be clear and maybe if we're lucky, we spotted our first humans of the day. We could hear them walking up through the valley. 
They were quite loud. Hopefully, when we get there, it'll be clear. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, it's, it might break, Tiff. That'd be great if it breaks when we get up there. Sounds like there's a party going up there, though, I must admit. Or some loud people. Anyway, that's the nature of hiking in Wales and England. You do come across people every now and then. Oh, it might break. I can see blue skies above it, Tiff. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm looking forward to my cucumber sandwich. Well, no, I've got, I've got Swiss cheese, ham, cucumbers, pickle, and lettuce, and a slab of butter. Anyway, got a little bit of a screen to cross here. Got to watch our ankles. But yeah, there's a herd going that way of about 15 people, and they were loud. Broke the silence of the mountain, it did. We don't mind seeing people, but not when you hear, see 15 of them and they're all chit chatting away. And yeah. Oh, I'm grumpy and I'm old. <laughs> anyway, let's get over this screen and get to the tunnel, uh, to the uh, trig point and bag it. Ash, push to the top, Tiffany. I see the trig. All the way on top of that mound of rocks. Ooh. A couple people coming to the top of it now. There's a person sitting there. Boom. Catarytrus. Good job, Tiff. A little shelter over there. Can't see it, but we'll go check that out later. Tiffany said I'm silly, but I thought I'd share you my sandwich. I mean, that's a doozy right there. I got a view to go with it. Make yourself a sandwich, guys. All right, that's one of the tarns. There's quite a few up here, but that's our path down over there. You can hear the fighter jets in the distance. They're having a play. That's the path coming in there, and that's where it kind of meets the tarn. It's beautiful scenery. You got the side of the mountain here, so a few people coming down I can see. There's no one swimming in the tarn though. Oh, but there'll be someone in there shortly. Let's get up and over this thing. It's quite warm in the sun. That's our path down there. That little valley there, that's our path down. So, beautiful out here. Got a little gully down here, down to the, uh, to the tarn. I might just go for a little slip and slide. Probably not. Yeah, it looks nice down there though. Yeah, so we're just heading down this path here. I'm heading back down to the tarn. Tiffany's I don't know what she's doing. Oh, well, that's that's risque. Beautiful. Making our way down to the town now. We're uh, not far from it now. It's been mostly uh, rocky terrain like it is in front of us here, so it's been kind of a, a slow progress, but we're getting there. I think it's just past one o'clock. Oh no, it's almost two o'clock. It's 1.50 now, so. Yeah, hopefully we'll go for a swim here. It's looking inviting. Uh, checking the water temperature. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, 
good thing. <laughs> oh, you're just going to paddle? No, I'm going to. <laughs> just got to take my shirt off. Oh, well, you, and come back. Yeah, you need to come here to take your shirt off though, because where are you going to leave it? Yeah, I mean, leave, uh, leave, leave, and I'll have to throw my, my paddles away. Right? You want to go in there quick. It's going to be one of those moments of, why am I doing this? Yeah. yeah. It's already that. It's rocky in the foot, though. Yeah. When you're virtually in, you might as well just go in. Just go in? Yeah. It's easier said than done. Alright, ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you deliberately leave your shoes? <laughs> oh, not at me! <laughs> it's not quite Windermere. Well, that was a nice swim, I must say. It was cold. About after uh, 10 minutes of swimming in there, my body started uh, shutting down. Saying, Charles, this is too cold. I started getting, I don't know, I've never experienced that before, but it was like, uh, it's like my legs were burning and my arms were burning. Not like burning painful, but they were getting hot. And I think they were just getting, uh, getting into that mode of, Pulling all the uh, blood flow away from my, my, trim, my legs and my arms into my torso and keeping me warm. So it was time to get out. But it was, uh, it was exhilarating. I loved it. I'd recommend it. Anyway, we're just on our way down now, back to the car. So uh, still got a little way to go though, but see if there's anything cool to see on the way. Well, folks, that's a wrap. That's the end of our Cata Idaris walk. We've completed it. It's been about been close to probably 12 miles when we're finished. So it's been quite a doozy. My hamstrings are quite sore, I'm getting old. Anyway, not a spring chicken anymore. There's no doubt about that. I used to bounce up those hills and bounce back down them. Now I've struggled to get up them. I struggle to get down them. Are you a senior? <laughs> Not yet. I mean, I don't see too much gray in my beard. Anyway, getting off topic. Uh, yes, that's the end of our walk. We're finished now. We're just about to touch the car. Uh, thank you guys for watching again and sticking through to the end if you made it. If you didn't, why? Why didn't you make it to the end? What's wrong? Anyway, maybe it's my smug face. Anyway, thank you guys. Take care. And uh, stay tuned for our next video. Oh, actually, sorry, I meant to say this. This will be our last hiking video of the year. We're done now. We've put in, we're, we won't be doing any more hiking videos because it's middle September and uh, the weather's going to change soon. So and we've got a pretty uh, pretty busy end, rest of the month and, and October. So sorry, no more. There will be a car video coming out. So, but you hiking guys might not care about that. So hiking community. Bye. See you next year.